So the Rockies lineup turns over. Now it's the DH, Charlie Blackman. Blackman. Timeout asked for and give it at the plate now. Next pitch downstairs, ball one. Summer 2019, it's like a pipe dream. Building up in a six feet. Trying to run away from myself. Never really got my beat. So what beat? Couldn't shake me up. I don't think that I could fake it much longer. It feels like a dream. I'm using the feeling. Don't know who it's wrong. Live from Guaranteed Rate Field on the south side of Chicago. MLB The Show has interleague action for you this afternoon. The Atlanta Braves going up against the Chicago White Sox. First pitch coming your way next. Here on the south side, and here is Ronald Acuna Jr. Leading off for Atlanta, the right fielder, number 13, Ronald Acuna Jr. And a pitch. That one off the mark, and we're underway here this afternoon. Here's a 1-1. One -one. And he chases a high fastball there. Ronald Acuna Jr., a guy who burst on the scene in 2018. He was only 20 years old, and he is one of the great talents in baseball right now. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Dansby Swanson stands in. The shortstop. Dansby Swanson. Foul ball there. 
One down, base is empty. Tried to check his swing there. Now it appealed to first. And that's a swing, according to umpire Ed Drummond. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Austin Riley. Riley. Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Makes the play and it's out number three. Bottom of the first. And yeah, the batter now, A.J. Pollock. Leading off for the White Sox. The right fielder, A.J. Pollock. Here comes a pitch. And he takes a strike. That misses. And it's one and one. Next pitch is inside. Two balls and a strike. Out to short, and that's a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. We've all seen the defensive shift make a big difference in defending against pull hitters, but it's not foolproof. He pulled it as expected, but he found a hole that time. Andrew Vaughn takes a strike there as he stands at the plate now. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And one away. And now it's That's Luis Robert. The center fielder, Luis Robert. And first offering is fouled off. <laughs> Up the middle, over to Arcia. That's one. And it's a double play to end the inning. Back here on the south side. And now it's William Contreras. Leading off with the break, the designated hitter, William. The pitch. Contreras. And that's in for a strike. Goodness, I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat. You don't get many like that in that location. I don't know if you take that pitch against any pitcher out there on the mound. Gathers and throws to first. One up, one down. Here is Matt Olson. The first baseman. And first offering is fouled off. Kicks and deals. No score here in the second. Righty delivers. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Next offering is fouled back. Left hand hitter waits. And now the count is even. Well, he's not afraid to fall into a two-strike count. Knows the strike zone very well, so much so that I think umpires will look at him and determine whether it's a ball or strike, if he swings or not. And now it's Travis Darno with the plate. Travis Darno. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Gonna count one and two. One and 
Second inning here, no score. Next pitch misses inside, and the count's even at two. Bounce to third. To first, and it's a one, two, three inning for the Braves. And welcome back. We'll say a Bray you up to hit. Leading up for the White Sox, the first baseman, Jose. And he deals. Up Bray you. That's in for a strike. Go ball. One strike. Out to short. Oh, great stop. And very nicely done for the out. Great cat like reflexes right good. there. Lays out, no knocks the ball there. down, and then Adam. fires with that rocket End arm goal. all the way across the diamond. Man, put this guy on the mound. The batter now is Adam Engel. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. Check swing, but he went too far. And a count one and one. In the air to left center, Harris drifts towards it. And puts the squeeze on that. And a couple of quick outs. Here is Moncada. The third baseman. Man, this is pretty amazing. This guy's very efficient out there on the mound right now. Just nine pitches in the first. He's got a chance to keep it to single digits again. Who does that? And the first pitch misses for ball one. Next offering is in for a strike. Pitch is in there. Now one and two. That fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. Brings it in for the third out. New inning getting started. Now in for the Braves. Marcelo Zuna. The left fielder, number 20. Kopech, back to work. Ozuna. Ozuna tries to hold up, appeal to first, and Ed Drummond right on it says he held up. Strike two. Threw that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. Next offering is in the dirt. Got him. And one away in the top of the third. Here's Orlando Arcia. The second baseman, Orlando Arcia. And that's in there for strike one. And the pitch. He swings and fouls one off. Oh, and two now. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Batting so up next, Michael Harris. Michael Harris. And that one fouled off. At the belt and fires. And that one just missed off the outside edge. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's two down. Ronald Acuna Jr. Next up for the Braves. 
Good contact guy, good defender. First offering, and it just misses. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Next offering is in for a strike. And a 1-1. Got the back going too soon. It's strike two. Swing and a miss. And that is that. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Leori Garcia up to the plate. Leading up for the White Sox. The shortstop. The pitch. Leori Garcia. And a swing and a miss. When you throw a fastball by a guy like that, I imagine it's got to feel incredible. Look for him to throw it again at some point. Comes up empty on the swing. 0-2 now. Fly ball to right. Acuna there. And there's one down. Here's Reese McGuire. Batting it. The catcher. Reese McGuire. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. And he's down 0 2 as he swings through it. Next offering upstairs. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing that high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Ground ball, Austin Riley. Throws across the diamond and two straight set down to begin the bottom of the third. Here's the veteran second baseman, Josh Harrison. The second baseman, Josh Harrison. Check swing. He went. Strike one. They say he went. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. Back at guaranteed rate field. Now it's the shortstop, Dansby Swanson. The shortstop, Dansby, and a pitch. And that's outside. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. On the ground to third. Moncada handles the chance, tosses the first, and Swanson is set down. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Right at the plate now. That's ball one. Next offering is in for a strike. The 
one one is cut on and missed at a pitch upstairs and the righty deals got him picks up strikeout number seven and next for Atlanta William Contreras 0 for 1 he grounded out in his first at bat swings through that one 0 and 1 the next pitch misses and that's ball one swing and a miss and a count one and two Next offering is fouled back. And now it's even up. That's hard hit on the line. And that is that. Ready to go, bottom four. A.J. Pollock at the dish. And that one almost got him. Next offering is in for a strike. Man, that pitch was dotted. So much talent on display when this guy's out there on the hill. One and two now. That one is absolutely belted. Way back there. Go! A soaring shot to center. And they jump out front. It's 1-0. Well, they put a really nice swing on that one. And everything was on time. Took a direct path to the ball. Excellent extension. And just drove it out of here. Nothing now better than when the ball jumps off your hitter. bat like that. Andrew. Andrew Vaughn now. Vaughn. Harris going back, back some more. Hauls it in, and there's one away. Luis Robert now. He's now over one. Singy, you got to appreciate Louis. a guy who's this good defensively. Robert. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. So how much does his speed factor into his ability to go get it? It's heartbreaking for the hitter because off the bat, he thinks this ball is going to get down. Because of that speed and the ability to make up so much ground, he enters the picture and breaks a guy's heart. Next offering misses, and a count two and one. Swanson handles on to first, and they take care of Robert for the out. Now that the first baseman, okay, up for you. Two down, nobody on. And there's a foul ball. Next pitch misses. Now one and two. And a one two again. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That's the inning. 
All set for the start of the inning. So now to the plate for Atlanta. Matt Olson. The first baseman. Matt Olson. The right-hander back to work. Swings and misses. And it's 0-1. Righty to the plate. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. One away here in the fifth. Travis Dardo next up for the Braves. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. Pitching change here, Vince Velasquez. He's being eased into the game here with the bases empty. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and we need a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. In there, and it's 0-1. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, we call that keyhole. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. And down on strikes. That's the second out. So two down now, and here is Marcelo Zuna. His first at bat was a strikeout. And fouled off. And now the 1. And that's in for a strike. And he hits a ground ball right side. And foul ball. The 2. Swing and a ball hammered left field. That's back there. And out of here. A shot to left. And we are starting over. It's tied at one. When you're working with this kind of velocity, so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. Clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity. He was all over that fastball. Late swing fouled off. And here it comes. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. Robert settles under this one. He's got it. And that is that. Welcome back. Stepping in, Adam Engel. It's good speed go? at the top Where of the order here. You want to get it on, Don't see if you can get a stolen base, Adam. maybe get around the bases Engel. and pick up a run. pitch and first offering is fouled off center field Harris moving under this one makes the grab one down And now Yohan Moncada. Up next for the White Sox. The third baseman. Yohan Moncada. In there for strike one. Hoog, over 80% of his first pitches are strikes. You're doing that. You could have a really good day out there on the mound. And the 0-2. Turned on, but foul wide of third. And one and two. I don't like to say he wasted a pitch. I think that was a purpose pitch. Change the eye level, have him look up. Now go back exactly where you want to go. And a swing and a miss. That's out number two. 
And up next now for batting. Chicago, Leori Garcia. Leori Garcia. First pitch is in the dirt. Oh, he's got to be pretty proud of this outing so far. Sometimes guys cower coming into a ballpark like this, but he is attacked hitters. Pitching on the road like this is very impressive. This has been a treat to watch. The pitch. That one's in there. One and two. Ground ball left side, and that's just foul. And a one two. Hey. Got him looking. Inning over. Back here at the ballpark. All right, we go to the top half of <laughs> inning number six. Here's the center fielder, Michael Harris. Velasquez back to work. And first offering is fouled off. Right hander kicks deals. Out towards left center. Angle on the move to the alley. And out number one on the ground. And now it's Ronald Acuna Jr. who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. First offering misses the mark. You can expect this hitter to be looking for something on a tee. He can get up in the air and untie this ball game. And there's the strike. Swing and a line drive and a base hit up the middle. Just a very nice approach and swing right there to use the big part of the field. Everything was on time. He stayed balanced through the entire swing and just launched that one into center. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Another throw over. And this time he gets him. And now it's going to be Dansby Swanson. That one's in there on one. Oh and two now. And down on strikes he goes. That's the third out. Here on the south side, bottom of the sixth inning. Now it's the White Sox catcher, Reese McGuire. The catcher, 
three. The wind of the pitch. Maguire. This is off the inside. Ball one. One ball. Next offering is in for a strike. But why to kick the pitch? Got him. So he's gotten deep into this game, and at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. Josh Harrison getting ready to hit. He was a strikeout victim his first time. First pitch, and he just misses. Base hit, left center field. A lot of hitters tell themselves, line drive over the infielder's head. That's what I'm trying to do. Just keep that approach simple. And right there, it was perfectly executed. On time with everything and pulled it into the gap nicely. And here is A.J. Pollock. Base hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Now batter. Andrew Vaughn steps to the plate for the White Sox. Free checks the runner. Throw to second, not in time. He's there easily. And yeah, that's in there for strike one. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. To the right side. Dive, and he's got it. Nicely done for the out. Well, that ball off the bat, ticketed for the outfield and a base hit for the hitter, but just taken away by the diving stop. Nice job. Now, here is Luis Robert, a guy who makes an impact not just at the plate, but also in the field. Harrison at third, Pollock. On at second with two down. Swanson collects, zips it to first, third out. Here on the south side, top of inning number seven. Now in for the Braves, Austin the Braves. Riley. The third baseman. The wind of the pitch. Riley. And first offering is fouled off. And a pitch. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Punch out there, and he's down on strikes for the second time today. Now, now it's going to be William Contreras. 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 
in there, and it's 0-1. Some guys are just more confident they can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. Next one misses, and that's ball one. Now time called. Pitching coach coming out for a meeting as two relievers continue to throw in the bullpen. The 1-1. One -one. And that one fouled off. And a pitch. And it's even up. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. And it beats him for out number two. That's a strikeout. And now it's now Matt Olson's turn to hit. He's a big, strong guy, can untie this game with one swing. And there's a rocket into the outfield. And that's going to roll to the wall. Now he'll turn for second. He's in there. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. What a great swing on it. And, man, he wasn't fooled at all. Tarno in the box, lays off for ball one. There's a strike. This is one of those situations where the pitcher may not really want to deal with the guy in the box, and you got to be aware of that. Take your walk. I could do it, but I think he can. Makes the catch, and that is that. Bottom of the inning at the play. Jose Abreu. Leading off for the White Sox. The first baseman, Jose Here comes a pitch. Abreu. Going along. I really like how he's been attacking hitters early in at bats. He's thrown strikes on the first pitch to over 70% of the guys he's faced in this one. Swanson collects it. Slings it across. That takes care of a brave. So digging in, oh, Adam Engel. No left fielder. Adam Engel. Bunt it back towards the pitcher. Throw to first is in time. Beats him to the bag for an out on the bunt. Yoan Moncada steps base. to the plate for the White Sox. The switch hitter batting right. And a foul ball. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. In the air, right field. And that's the inning. Ready to begin the eighth. Here's Marcelo Zuna. for at the plate and he gets it and a pitch swing and a miss and he was fooled wow no fair right there I mean that slider didn't move to the very last moment incredibly difficult to pick that up just kind of have to tip your cap on that pitch oh and two as he waves at that one gosh a little late on that breaking ball I don't think he recognized it out of the hand just a little tardy I have to regroup here and the next pitch is way outside. Righty delivers. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Robert makes the catch. One up, one down. Now it's the second baseman, Orlando Arcia. Bounce to the right. Harrison picks it up. 
Over to first. Two up, two down here in the top of the eighth. Michael Harris next up for the Braves. Michael Harris. That one off the bad part of the bat. Just a lazy fly ball. Powell racing over to make the catch. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. And now the shortstop, Leori Garcia. And he deals. Right through there for a strike. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. This one high in the air to left center. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And a quick out number one. Here's the catcher to hit, okay. Reese McGuire. Foul ball. The 0 1. Swings and misses. That is strike two. Man, he is just dialed in right now. Every pitch thrown with so much conviction. Got him swinging. And there's two away. And next to him for the Sox, Josh Harrison. And he's already singled in this game. Harrison. Up the middle. In plenty of time to first. And that is the inning. They hand the ball over to a new arm, Jose Ruiz. Number 66. Here's Acuna now. You talk about the power and the speed together. Well, we knew he was going to be a stud just coming up, making his way through the minor leagues, and quickly at this level, an impact player. And the 1 0. That misses. And now 2-0. You know this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. And it is 2-1. That looked like a case of deciding to swing no matter what. That pitch was way up. Nice job of the pitcher knowing that this hitter's looking for something up that he can drive. But he just expanded the zone to his advantage. Just a huge at bat right there. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. Swanson swings through it for strike one. Ruiz checks on first. Acuna dives back in. Another move to first. And he's back in that time as well. The go-ahead run aboard at first. Nobody out. Comes up empty on this swing. Oh, two now. With two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Trying to stay out. Runner breaks early for second. And a step off. Now safe at first. He gets back in. Right-handed reliever. And there's a the ball. One 
your base runner you got to stay dialed in here look for anything in the dirt try your best to get into scoring position kicks and deals and a swing and a miss and one gone Austin Ryan next up for the Braves now be careful with this guy he's got power he can untie it with one swing throw over to first Acuna dives back in And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Acuna runs. Swing and a miss. Pro save. Runner edges away at second. Runner goes again. There's a ball. Throw to third. Save. A bunt and it's popped up. Pulls it down and there's two gone. William Contreras will hit next. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. Two down. Go ahead, run at scoring position. The next offering misses. And the count is 1 and 1. Swing and a miss. And it's one and two. Next pitch misses way outside. Strike three. Got him swinging. Huge strike out there. We head to the bottom of the ninth. And now, A.J. Pollock. Leading off for the right now. The right fielder. AJ. The pitch. Pollard. Lifted in the air, right center field. Acuna there. Pulls it in, and there's one away. So up next for Chicago, oh, next Andrew right Vaughn. Now. The designated hitter. Andrew Vaughn. The other way, and that's down. A base hit, and the winning run is aboard. Fires the second too late, and he's got a double. Well, a big swing of the bat right there. He really shot that one down the right field line and somehow found a way to keep it from slicing now foul. Man. One thing that was great about the approach is head was down all the way through the pitch, and that's how you do it. But he's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Next offering is in for a strike. To first, and they take care of Robert for the out. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. That gets down for a hit. Here comes the runner. The winning run crosses the plate, and the White Sox rock it off for the win. You know, he had to feel the pressure. Winning run on second base. Found a way to make solid contact, and the winning run comes across to score. Everyone going crazy. Exciting finish to this game today. And your final score here today, 2-1. Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Shambi saying so long.
afternoon. First for the victorious White Sox. Two runs, six hits, no errors. They left three men on base. For Atlanta, one run, five hits, no errors. They left three men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 39 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.